UFOs are real, burgeoning, not going away. I am your intrepid host, L.A. Marzulli, coming to you from an undisclosed location somewhere deep in the heart of the Santa Monica Mountains, and we'll get into that in just a minute. Before we get into our UFO update, I just want to once again express my condolences to Scott Carpenter's family. He passed away very suddenly a couple of days ago, and uh, we miss him already. Uh, Scott was an incredible Bigfoot Sasquatch researcher. Um, he was a, sort of a one-man team, but he was also uh, collaborating with people like me. We had him on the show numerous times. We miss him already. Pray for his family, folks. Life is fragile, incredibly fragile. And every day is a gift. And we'll get into our UFO discussion. But first, a word from our trusted sponsor. Before trying anti-aging serums or wrinkle creams, check if you're getting enough collagen first. Collagen is a protein that plays a crucial role in maintaining the health and elasticity of our skin. Without it, we may notice visible signs of aging, like fine lines and wrinkles. While collagen production naturally declines as we age, certain collagen supplements can help bring back a youthful glow like you wouldn't believe. This is why I highly recommend taking collagen. Collagen is specially formulated to enhance skin elasticity and hydration. It's made with the top five most powerful types of collagen that are essential for skin health, elasticity, and firmness. Folks, with only 10 grams of bioactive collagen peptides per serving, collagen is designed to make it easy to boost your collagen levels to support healthier skin. Try it today and receive 53% off, free shipping, free VIP live health and fitness coaching for life. What a great deal. And also a free new e-report titled The 14 Foods for Amazing Skin and a 60-day money-back Guarantee. So, folks, if you don't see it working, they'll give you your money back. Plus, you'll also help feed a hungry child, families and communities in need uh, of healthier lives with your order through BioTrust Partnership with NoKidsHungry.org. What a, what a great company. Check it out today. Go to HealthWithLA.com, HealthWithLA.com, or please click the link right below here in our description box. So we talked about this a little bit uh, a couple of weeks ago. U.S. has allegedly found non-human craft, and that, I think, was number 14 or 15 on the ladder of disclosure. By the way, I am working on a book. Hopefully, it'll be out by the end of the year. We'll see. There's only so many hours in the day. But what's happening now is Representative Tim Burchett on government UFO evidence, I believe they have recovered craft. So we get it here from the whistleblower, and that was, of course, um, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Grush, who will join us in just a minute. But also uh, Tim Burchett is saying the same thing. Burchett is saying the same thing, that uh, they have recovered craft. Bob Lazar stated as much in the 90s, and I believe him. Uh, so we've known, those of us in the field who have actually followed it, knew about this craft in the, in the 1990s. Uh, this also goes back to Holloman Air Force Base, and we show this in, in part two of our UFO disclosure film when I sit down with Francisco Carrera and also Preston Dennett. And Preston Dennett and I are, are talking openly about Eisenhower's little trip to... Um, uh, an area, Holloman Air Force Base, where that quid pro quo, in our opinion, happened there, where we gave the so-called extraterrestrials access to the population in return for the craft. Now, that's conjecture, but I think it happened, absolutely. And so we have a deep state, we have a shadow government that's running, that's not elected. These people are not elected. They are taking money from who knows where. Um, why can't Presidents know what really goes on in Area 51. What is in the deep underground places uh, at Wright-Patterson Field in Ohio? Perhaps we'll never know. So I want you to watch this exchange. I think you'll find it really interesting. Intelligent extraterrestrials. Something I can't discuss in public setting. 
Um, okay, I can't ask when you think this occurred. <laughs> um, if you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Um, were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. And was this documentary evidence, this video, photos, eyewitness, like how would that be determined? The specific documentation I would have to talk to you in a skiff about. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, okay. So, and, and you may or may not be able to answer my last question, and maybe we get into a skiff at the next hearing that we have, but who in the government either, what agency, sub-agency, what contractors, who should be called into the next hearing about UAPs, either in a public setting or even in a private setting? And, and you probably can't name names, but what agencies or organizations, contractors, et cetera, do we need to call in to get these questions answered, whether it's about funding, what programs are happening, and what's out there? I can give you a specific cooperative and hostile witness list of specific individuals uh, that were in those. And, and how soon can we get that list? I'm happy to provide that to you after the hearing. Super. Thank you. And I yield back. I want to show you guys something here, and a friend of mine who works in one of the agencies uh, put my name in, and, and of course I won't be called, and, and it's, it's no it's no problem. I mean I don't you know the Lord will raise us up and have us do what we're supposed to do when when or if the time comes. And if it doesn't, that's fine. My hands on the plow. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. But I want to show you something. See the guy right here on the right side of the screen. That is Jeremy Corbell. He's the filmmaker that is responsible for patient 17. And I've talked about this, and he's welcome to come on the show and defend himself, but Richard Shaw, the late Richard Shaw, my business partner, we did 11 watchers. We did 11 films in our watcher series. Jeremy Corbell was there when we took out the implant from Emil. He was supposed to give us credit on the film Patient 17. He didn't. And I take umbrage with that because that was a conversation that he had with Richard. He was supposed to give us credit, and of course he never does, to the best of my knowledge. If that's not true, someone please tell me. But um, we, we were the ones that paid for that, paid for um, Dr. Matriciana, Dr. Roger Lear, the CAT scan. We paid for everything. And uh, is it amazing how patient number 17 is up on Netflix, but we can't get our film on. Is there prejudice? Absolutely. Are we being censored? Absolutely. And I'm not making this up. We cannot get on with our film. And we're the ones that found email, Richard Shaw in particular. So I might make this up. This is not conspiracy theory. I have documentation for it. I can show you all this. It's actually, it's actually in our Watcher series where we're doing the x-rays, we're doing the CAT scan, we're doing the, the whole nine yards. It's right there in Dr. Roger Lear's office and you hear me talking during the operation. So, you know, it, it's problematic. I think that's George Knapp is also sitting in that row of four guys. This is a controlled narrative, in my opinion. It's kabuki theater. And it begs the question, if we have biologics, who has the biologics? And why, does, why don't the American people know about this? Why is it pushed down? Why does, and, and can we trust Mr. Grush, I don't know. I don't know. Grush is ex-military. You'll notice that everyone who's, who's on board is military. Chris Mellon, CIA. Luis Elizondo, military. Head of ATIP, Advanced Aeronautical Threat Identification Program. So pretty much it's a controlled, managed agenda, as the late Chuck Messler used to say. Folks, if you look really carefully right here, I'll get my arrow up here, hopefully, and on the midway and the right side, you can see, oh, let me go back, you can see the craft. No sound, dislike object, hovering over the ocean, and that's the photograph of the week as far as I'm concerned. Where is this going? What is the top rung on the ladder of disclosure, the disclosure ladder? We don't know, except to say this, mile-wide craft appearing in different cities, over different cities, that's the game changer. When they show up, they will tell us that they created all life on this planet, 
They genetically manipulated early man. They were are the gods that we worshipped in antiquity. They were, in fact, the Anunnaki. That's where all this is going. That's what ancient aliens promulgates and some, some other people that are sort of new on the scene with new books, the Anunnaki. And I'll, I'll talk about that in a future show. The bottom line is, folks, I don't believe that for a New York Minute. I don't believe these are our progenitors, that they created all life on this planet. They started, they manipulated early man. They genetically manipulated us to modern human beings. They started the world's religions. They started early civilizations. I'm not buying that for a second. They're fallen angels. Let no man deceive you. Even the elect would be deceived if that were possible. Men faint from fear for what is coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven will be shaken. We either believe what's in the guidebook of a supernatural, or we can believe in the extraterrestrial hypothesis. These are interdimensional entities. And this is the coming great deception. This is the strong delusion that Second Thessalonians speaks about. Folks, I will be at uh, Walk on the Water uh, Church, Walk on Water Faith Church, walkonthewater.org, walkonthewater.org. August 18th, Friday night, we kick it off 6 p.m. You've got to register. So go to our website, click there to register, or go to walkonthewater.org and register for that. It's coming up. I will see you. There are no repeats. So Friday night, I'm laying the groundwork for session one, two, three, and four. We'll be talking about the Fatima apparitions. We'll be talking about countermutilations and abductions. Lots and lots and lots of things to cover. So don't miss out on it. I hope to see you there. Walk on the Water Church. Our countermutilation film, hopefully that'll be finished up this week. We'll get it out the door. We are doing a pre-sale, like always. Further evidence is being uh, printed again. We're issuing that book. Lots going on with the whole UFO thing. Don't forget our five box DVD set, lamrzilby.net. What are you waiting for? It has everything that you need to see. Buy a couple of them. Give one to your pastor. Invite all your friends over. Pop the popcorn. Sit down and get educated. This is the coming great deception. Anyway, folks, thanks so much for watching. UFOs are real, burgeoning, and not going away. Don't forget to hit the little subscribe button.